हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सी एन ए वीडियो सीरीज लेक्चर नंबर सेवन टॉपिक ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज आई पी वर्जन फोर सबनेटिंग ऑफ क्लास बी फ्राम स्लैश ट्वेंटी फोर टू स्लैश थर्टी एंड वी एल एस एन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी सबनेटेड क्लास बी नेटवर्क अप टू स्लैश ट्वेंटी वन बिफोर सबनेटिंग द फोर्थ ऑक्टेट लेट्स बारो ऑल द एट बिट्स फ्राम थर्ड ऑक्टेट सो न्यू सी आई डी आर वैल्यू विल बी स्लैश ट्वेंटी फोर which means that there are 24 bits for the network segment new subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 by turning on all 8 bits of third octet we get 255 the number of subnets will be 2 raised to power 8 because we have borrowed 8 bits and that will be equal to 256 so we will get 256 subnets starting from 0 to 255 number of hosts per subnet will be equal to 2 raised to power 8 because there are 8 bits left in the host segment and that will be equal to 256 but remember we had subtracted two from possible host values one for the subnetwork id and other for broadcast address so our valid host per subnet will be 254 the block size of the subnetwork will be 256 minus 255 equals to 1 for third octet and 256 minus 256 equals to 0 for fourth octet because we did not borrow any bit from fourth octet note that the value of 255 is the sum of all the spot values of borrowed bits from third octet so the block size we got is 1.0 based on the values we got let's generate our table of subnetting in excel the first subnetwork id will be 0.0 then we will keep adding the block size of 1.0 in the previous subnet id until we get 256.0 now let's find broadcast address of each subnetwork broadcast address is all the host bits turned on since there is no bit left for the host segment in third octet so it will be 0 and in fourth octet all bits are for host ids so by adding their spot values we get 255 by adding 0.255 in each subnet id we will get broadcast address of each subnet to find the first valid host add 0.1 in each subnet id so first valid host of each subnet id will be 0.1 1.1 and so on to find last valid host subtract 0.001 from broadcast address of each subnet so by applying the formula and expanding it we get 0.254 1.254 2.254 up to 255.254 as the last valid host of each subnet since we have completed subnetting of class b up to slash 24 Now let's borrow one bit from fourth octet and let's see what we get. Note that we have borrowed all eight host bits from third octet. So by raising the power of two to eight, we get two fifty six subnets for third octet, and we have also borrowed one bit from fourth octet. So by raising the power of two to one, we get two subnets for fourth octet as well. so we will get two subnets for each third octet value hence the 512 subnets also note that we are getting block size of 1 from third octet and block size of 128 from fourth octet so starting from 0.0 resulting subnets will be 0.128 1.0 1.128 2.0 3.0 and all the way up to 255.0 and 255.128 you can see that for each value of third octet we are getting two subnets in fourth octet for example in the first two subnets the value of third octet is 0 and in fourth octet there is 0 and 128 similarly in subnet number 3 and 4 the value of third octet is 1 and in fourth octet there is 0 and 128 Now let's find broadcast address of each subnetwork. 
broadcast address is all the host bits turned on since there is no bit left for the host segment in the third octet so it will be zero and in the fourth octet seven bits are left for host ids so by adding their spot values we get 127 by adding 0.127 in each subnet id we will get broadcast address of each subnet to find the first valid host add 0.1 in each subnet id so first valid host of each subnet id will be 0.1 0.129 1.1 1 1.129 and so on to find last valid host subtract 0.001 from broadcast address of each subnet so by applying the formula and expanding it we get 0.126 0.254 1.126 1 1.124 up to 255.250 as the last valid host of each subnet. Now let's borrow 4 bits from 4th octet. The new subnet mask will be 255.255.255.240 as the spot values of first 4 bits are 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 which is equal to 240. Also note that we have borrowed all 8 host bits from 3rd octet so by raising the power of 2 to 8 we get 256 subnets for 3rd octet and we have also borrowed 4 bits from 4th octet so by raising the power of 2 to 4 we get 16 subnets for 4th octet as well. So we will get 16 subnets for each 3rd octet value hence the 4096 subnets. Also note that we are getting block size of 1 from 3rd octet and block size of 16 from 4th octet. So starting from 0.0, .0 resulting subnets will be 0 0.16, 0 0.32, 0 0.48 all the way up to 0 0.256. But we will not include 0 0.256 so we get 16 subnets for 0 value of 3rd octet. Now we will add 1.0 and for the value 1 of 3rd octet we will repeat the same procedure by adding 0 0.16 all the way up to 1.256 and so on. You can see that for each value of 3rd octet we are getting 16 subnets in 4th octet. For example in the first 16 subnets the value of 3rd octet is 0 and in 4th octet there is 0, 16, 32, 48, 64 up to 240. Similarly in subnets 17 to 32 the value of 3rd octet is 1 and in 4th octet there is 0, 16, 32, 48, 64 up to 240. Repeat the same procedure for 2.0, 3.0 up to 255.0. Now let's find broadcast address of each subnetwork. Broadcast address is all the host bits turned on since there is no bit left for the host segment in 3rd octet so it will be 0 and in 4th octet 4 bits are for host IDs so by adding their spot values we get 15. So by adding 0 0.15 in each subnet ID we will get broadcast address of each subnet. To find the first valid host add 0 0.1 in each subnet ID. So first valid host of each subnet ID will be 0 0.1, 0 0.17, 0 0.33 and so on. To find last valid host subtract 0 0.01 from broadcast address of each subnet. So by applying the formula and expanding it we get 0 0.14, 0 0.30 and so on as the last valid host of each subnet. If you have any question or confusion regarding class B subnetting, do comment and I will try to explain it. In the next video, we will start subnetting class A network. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates about upcoming educational videos. Thanks.